Hi, my name's Sandy McClellan and I'm one of the first year coordinators for the School of Nursing and Midwifery and I'm located on the Mackay campus. Um, I'm going to be talking to you today about the uniform requirements that you will have. Um, when you go on clinical placement, it is mandatory that you wear a complete CQ um, university uniform, including closed in shoes that must cover the whole top of your foot. Um, when you are on placement, of course, you're not going to be wearing any jewellery, necklaces, you may wear studs or um, a pair of sleepers, um, but otherwise um, no real jewellery apart from that. A wristwatch you can wear, but remember a fob watch is better because with the wristwatch you need to take it off as an infection control measure every time you wash your hands. You may notice that I am wearing stockings with my uniform. They are not a mandatory part of the uniform, but I have been a nurse for 38 years and back in the day we actually, it was mandatory that we did wear stockings, so I don't feel like I'm in uniform when I, when I don't have them on. Um, I personally feel that they're, they just add that little bit of professionalism, but that choice will absolutely be yours. Um, the uniform consists of the teal shirt for both um, men and women, um, blue skirt, shorts or trousers, and um, navy blue or um, black shoes must be closed in. Make sure they're comfortable because you're going to be on your feet for eight hours a day and you're going to be under stress. So go for comfort, not beauty with, with your shoes. Um, remember when you are on placement that you are basically at a, a job interview and people will be watching you. You have now entered a profession, so you must always um, conduct yourself in a professional manner. So you can actually ask a lot of questions when you're on clinical placement, but if you're going to be thinking, you know, perhaps that's not quite the way I was shown how to do something, just be a little careful that you do remain professional when actually challenging something, somebody on, some, on a way that they are doing things. Remembering there's lots of different ways of doing things. What we teach you is the principles. As long as the principles are being met, everything is fine. So just be a bit careful with how you do approach that sort of a situation. Remember we are all guided by the Student Code of Conduct, so you must make sure that you familiarise yourself with that document that is available on the website so that you know what are your responsibilities as well as what your rights are. So it's a two-way street with, with that. Um, when you come into the, the nursing labs, either for internal lab sessions or for residential schools, again, it is mandatory that you wear a full CQU uniform. Obviously for the first couple of lab sessions, if you're doing Foundations 1, when perhaps you've just started, haven't had time to purchase your uniform yet, that's fine as long as you wear appropriate dress. Um, if you are going on a mental health placement, for example, where industry standard is that you don't wear uniform, just be a little bit careful with what sort of clothing that you do wear. Don't wear any um, t-shirts or anything like that that's got inflammatory statements on it. And of course, you're going to make sure that you're, you're suitably covered. Presenting yourself as a professional, because from this moment forward, for the rest of your career, you are a professional. Just briefly on that note, when you are out and about in CQ University uniform, please remember you are in a uniform, you are easily labelled as a CQU University student. Wear your uniform with pride, much like I do, and don't do anything that is going to put the university into disrepute. So if you want to go out for a couple of drinks after work, that's fine. Either change your shirt into something that's not recognisable or please limit the amount of alcohol that you drink because we don't like to see students falling down drunk. We will hear about it and so will you. Anyway, when you are on placement, when you do come into the labs, make sure that you do have fun. That's what it's all about. And remember, we are all here to support you. Do never hesitate to contact your course coordinator. Um, myself as one of the first year coordinators. There's one on each campus. Um, people here are here to help you. Thank you.